Guys, today we are making my mommy's chana mugaj recipe. I love mugaj. I love mugaj. Probably more than burfi. 500 grams of chana flour, chickpea flour. A quarter cup of milk. It's one big spoon of ghee. Okay, get your hands in there and turn them into breadcrumbs. Right, you're going to sift your breadcrumbs. To separate the big pieces from the small pieces. And you get to these last fine bits that don't sift through. You add that to your pot. We're going in with two cups of ghee. Trust me, it's not just for that little bit. We're going to add the rest just now. We just got to braise this first. Because that's how you get the two-tone. Okay, so you can see it's gone a bit golden brown. Now we add the rest in on a medium-high heat. It needs to turn into this beautiful golden browny color. I'm assuming so because it's my first time. Okay, just a pinch of nutmeg. Just a reminder, nutmeg is not haram. But if you have it in large, large, massive quantities, then yes. Just a pinch ain't gonna hurt anybody. Half a teaspoon of ilachi powder. And a few drops of rose essence. You're gonna go in with 250 grams of milk powder, the clam. No, 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 no. We're not using Nestle clam anymore. We're not using anything Nestle anymore. Go get yourself the first choice milk powder and use that instead. Normal programming will resume now. I've sifted 450 grams of icing sugar. You're gonna put in 400 grams and then depending on the softness that you want, you can add more. You can add the last 50 grams or not. Put it onto a baking sheet that has a baking paper on it. Okay, I got a mursa load of mugaj here. Guys, this is my mommy's recipe and let me just tell you, it's amazeballs.